For the fastest, cheapest, most reliable coins on the market, check out my coin sponsor, MMOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff of the Mad Cheese, as always. Got an emergency update video for you guys today. EA dropped the rare Wednesday update. I don't know if it was meant to go in sync with the start of the new season or the new, uh, you know, mutt thing they got going on. I guess it's what zero chill right now, which, you know, is the same promo they do every year. I'll go over that a little bit in this video, but today's video is really more about the gameplay changes. This is not the largest update ever, but there are three very significant gameplay changes that will change pretty much everybody's play style. If you use any of these different types of uh, exploits that they, they really try to address, which a lot of people do. Uh, so a lot of people are going to be upset with this uh, but it's a very important update because of that so as always if you guys want to see me continue this series anytime there's an update make a video I try to make a weekly video whether it's a title update or a um, you know the the roster update which I'll probably go over tomorrow please make sure to be a subscriber hit like button let me know in the comment section and I'll keep doing them uh, but for sure I mean I'm gonna go right I'm gonna get right into it this even says at the beginning it says today we're gonna keep it short and sweet uh, because it says they have another gridiron notes coming out later today with more details about what is coming this holiday season so there's i don't know if that's really an update if it's uh it says it's, it's more um you know they're going to talk about things that are going to happen in the future uh which is something that i'll probably go over in tomorrow's video i don't know if i'm going to do a double drop but if you guys want to see that like i said tomorrow i plan on doing uh, the player ratings anyway so i'll probably include that so let me know in the comment section hit the like button all that good stuff if you guys want to see that other than that let's go and get right into it my most complained uh thing in the comment section probably one of the biggest exploits in the community that most people are really getting tired of is RPO plays. Now, RPO plays, for whatever reason, have just been overpowered this year. I mean, it, it, every time I go against guys playing an RPO or using an RPO, I really have to create a specific defense around that RPO play, like cover four quarters, man in the safeties, the slot receivers, all kind of crazy stuff to try to figure out a way to stop them because they are very overpowered. And I, and I try to stay away from things that I think are a little bit too glitchy. I know I like to call all my plays uh, and all the, all the offenses I put out glitches and cheat codes and all kind of stuff, but I really stay away from stuff that I feel gets to a point where it's it's beyond an exploit uh to the point where like rpo plays i haven't put out an rpo play all year even though there's a lot of people that are dominating with rpo plays well apparently there was a pretty big issue because it says here there's an exploit prevention logic that increases the offensive line blocking win chance when heavy offensive sets are matched against light sub package defenses with sets of three or less bigs rushing the passer this logic was activating on rpo plays incorrectly so basically if you're in a random cover four uh, which is like a cover four like a three four odd cover four drop contain or something like that uh, that only has three pass rushers there's a lot of defenses that really only have three pass rushers there's a lot of you know cover two man defenses that only have three pass rushers apparently if you were in one of those type of sets where you didn't have enough guys rushing the passer it would uh, activate a blocking advantage for the offensive line um, which they you know i mean obviously that's probably a big part of why the run plays were more successful in rpos but, uh, but they apparently they uh, resolve that or they try to resolve that. A lot of times when EA says they fix stuff, you don't really know if they fixed it. So let me know in the comment section if you're still having trouble stopping RPO plays. I know the RPO plays that I'm thinking of typically are like two tight ends set, two receivers to one side. Uh, there's a lot of different RPO plays in the game that are really having success. But yeah, I can see what they're saying as far as um, a heavy offensive set considering two tight ends if you consider two tight ends a heavy offensive set so the bottom line to try to break this down is that ea is aware that rpos are overpowered and they did something to try to slow that down with this update but we'll see time will tell i'm sure there will still be people running rpo plays the next one is about uh, people saying that they just can't catch passes that's one of my uh, one of my next biggest uh you know issues that i see in the comment section a lot is a lot of people say that they get a lot of drops um, apparently there is such a thing as a catch penalty and the next thing they go over here is that they tune to reduce the catch penalty on catches where the receiver has to catch the ball behind them or use a back shoulder catch which means they're catching it over their shoulder so any any time that a receiver had a difficult uh, angle to make a catch apparently they were getting a catch penalty and that's why a lot of these drops were happening now me personally I don't have any drop issues. I say this all the time. If you're if you're running into issues with dropping balls, don't try to don't try to time the catch. 
tap the catch button, whatever catch you're making, whether it's a rack catch, uh, whether it's a wire triangle, possession catch, whatever, whatever catch you're, you're making, tap the catch button and you will not have any drops. I've said this a million times. To me, the catch penalty that most people have issues with is the timing penalty. Uh, but if you tap the button, you don't, you won't have that problem. So I always try to bring that up for people watching this because it does help. If you watch any of my gameplay videos, you probably never see me drop a single pass. And that's because I don't have that issue at all. Now, like I said, this particular uh, issue here, um, that's something where I would say it's probably more of an issue if you're not using the catch. If you're letting the computer do your catches or something like that, then maybe that's why. But I'm probably, if I'm clicking on, there's not, I'm probably not going to be in that situation where I'm either doing a back shoulder or uh, whatever this catch uh, referencing is. I'm probably going to try to adjust to the point where it's like a rack catch or just an easier catch. I'm going to adjust to an easier catch. So if you're having catching issues, you're probably not either clicking on to do the catch yourself to put your receiver in a better position, or you're not catching it yourself and you should be hit, like I said, tapping the button instead of uh, timing it. But either way, they did tune something. They are aware, once again, that catching or a lot of drops have been happening. So they are are reducing some catch penalties to try to make that happen less so another issue let me know in the comment section if you're playing the game you're watching this and you're still dropping a lot of passes the last one here like i said there's three big improvements when it comes to um, to gameplay the last one is specifically about gap stacking but it also mentions a specific blitz gap stacking is something that most blitzes especially the blitzes i do um, i use and if they're going to basically revert it to the point where it'll ignore the user gap stacking it's just going to make it easier for the user to blitz right up the middle themselves so <clears throat> they're not they didn't change gap stacking in general they said here i'll read the whole thing it says fix an issue in pass blocking targeting that allows a pass rusher through unblocked when hovering a defender over the a gap in the dollar three two fire press play now when you hear that play that i'm sure everybody that plays online knows the dollar the db fire too so basically the db fire too they're still trying to uh, nerf that a bit because that was mentioned i think in a previous patch and now they're mentioning it again so they're specifically trying to take that away because the db fire too is one of those just like wide looping speed blitzes with the cornerbacks to the point where it really can wreak havoc on a lot of offenses so i'm glad they're trying to fix that it's another defense i mean i i could run the db fire too and the and the sting or the um you know the, the spinner blitz that's what a lot of people do uh, i don't necessarily have problems playing against either one of them though if i'm being honest but the db fire too can be one of the better ones because of that uh, that's that speed package you can get off the cornerbacks so <clears throat> that's the three big gameplay changes we also have a uh, you know they just say a variety of general stability issues or improvements uh which is just very big uh franchise mode though there was a lot uh, of you know rumors that franchise mode was going to get some big changes coming up and all they really did for franchise mode was fixed various server issues that would cause disconnects and also various various stability and crash issues so not a lot uh to really um you know they could just be saying that they can instead of just leaving franchise mode out <laughs> out of the patch entirely they could just be typing that in and say hey, we'd fix a bunch of stuff we need to go over that you know what i mean that just doesn't make a lot of sense ultimate team though got a few more improvements like I said, most of this seems like it's meant to uh, to pump up the, the zero chill, um, which, like I said, I'm not going to go over too much because I'm sure you guys probably get all that information from an actual MUT channel, and I don't want to waste your time. But, uh, but yeah, zero chill is coming if it's not already here. It looks like it might be already here. But they did fix a couple of issues where apparently uh, you could get soft locked after returning from the new currency screen uh, from the most fear, uh, during the most feared event. Uh, there's a lot of soft lock, lock issues when it comes to mud. I, I'm not against mud. I used to play mud a lot more in previous years. I just felt it got boring. I and mean, this is like the, the seventh year in a row they've been doing zero chill. Like come up with some new shit. <laughs> which is kind of one of the reasons I, I stopped. I'm not playing it this year as much. Uh, it says fix an issue where rewards. Uh, reward reports were missing the source information. I guess the biggest thing here that I would be concerned with, it says resolved an issue where EA Play Pro members were not receiving their monthly points. I don't even know if I'm a part of that. I, I, I might be, but I, I, I don't get on there enough to even check. And then that's pretty much it for them. They also did some NFL authenticity changes. Uh, the player likenesses, though, not very impressive. It's all backup quarterbacks. Brett Rippin, uh, Rippian, I'm not even sure that you say his name, Easton Stick, and uh, Jared Stidham. I'm pretty sure there's three backup quarterbacks. So um, if, you're, if your favorite backup quarterback got a face now, I'm sure you're happy. So that's that's video. Like I said, I'll probably have another video similar to this tomorrow going over 
um, you know, some of the, uh, the the player ranks changes and whatever the second update is. So if you guys want to be a subscriber and put your notification bell on, I will have that coming to you tomorrow. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Wish it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.